Hi, and a warm welcome. My name is Karin. I've prepared a lovely winding down movement sequence for you, comprising contemporary Pilates and Sling's myofascial training exercises. If you like to join me, all you need is a mat and a soft ball. The movement sequence is lying on the back. So you can lie down, place your feet on the floor with the knees bent. The feet are hip distance and parallel with the heels fairly close to your sit bones. The arms can be relaxed alongside the body or extended out to the side, relaxed on the floor, whatever suits you. If you like, for the first part of the sequence, you can close your eyes. Tune into your body and to your pelvis. Imagine your pelvis to be a bowl filled with warm water. And with your next exhalation, you're tilting the pelvis back, letting the lower back melt into the floor. Let the breath flow. Feel the warm water in your lower back, swirling around the abdominal organs. And then with your next exhalation, Peel the lower back away from the mat, one vertebra at a time. Once again, let the breath flow. The back of the rib cage is still on the mat. The front of the rib cage is softly closed. The water has been running up towards the diaphragm, massaging the underside of the diaphragm. With your next exhalation, roll up further into a shoulder bridge until you feel the weight on the shoulders. The head is relaxed, let the breath flow again. Feel the water spreading out, running out into the shoulders, into your arms, to the hands and to the fingertips. And then with your next exhalation, start to roll down, imprinting one vertebra at a time. Let the water spread on the inside of your body again. Let the pelvis refill. Feel the pelvis centering, inhale, and with your next exhalation, tilt the pelvis back, let the lower back melt into the floor, lift the pelvis, inhale there. With your next exhalation, keep rolling up, feel the water running up towards your diaphragm, inhale, and then exhale, keep rolling up into a shoulder bridge, let the breath flow, feel the water spreading out again warming the shoulders, warming the arms, the hands, the fingers, relaxing the back of the neck. With your next exhalation, initiate your rolling down. Let the breath and the movement flow. Let the water run down your spine, lower back and refill the pelvis. Inhale in the centered position. We are rolling up one more time. Exhalation, tilt the pelvis back, lift, hold it with your inhalation, feel the opening in front of the pelvis. Exhalation, keep rolling up, feel the lengthening in your lower back, inhale. And then exhale, roll all the way up, one more time into a shoulder bridge where you let the breath flow. If your eyes are closed, open your eyes, take the ball, Place the ball underneath your pelvis and start to roll down, centering your pelvis on the ball. So it's the sacrum, the center of your pelvis that is resting on the ball. From here, we are using a transition leg float. And to lift the legs up into tabletop, keep the pelvis centered, the spine elongated, so you're engaging your pelvic floor and your deep abdominals that are wrapping around the waistline like corsets. Take one leg up into tabletop, engage a little bit more in your pelvic floor and abdominals, lift your second leg up into a tabletop position, connect the legs if you like, and then hug the knees close towards you into a rest position. Hold the knees with your hands in the rest position, completely relax. Pelvic floor, abdominals, back extensor muscles, completely soft and relaxed. Place your hands in front of the knees, inhale. With your ex exhalation, engage the center, 
draw the knees away from the chest, stabilize the pelvis and the knees, let the breath flow in this position. From here, you will lift the lower legs until they are parallel to the floor, if that suits your body. And then press the knees against your hands. Feel the intense work in your abdominals. It's increasing when you press your legs against the hands. And then hug the knees towards you, completely relax. Inhale. Exhalation, center the pelvis, elongate the lower back, knees away from the chest. Inhalation, lift the lower legs, tabletop. Exhalation, press your thighs against the hands. Inhalation, hug the knees in close, completely relax, soft. Exhalation, knees away from the chest, center the pelvis and the lower back. Inhalation, lift the feet. Press your thighs against the hands with your exhalation. And then rest, tuck the knees close one more time. Exhalation, center the pelvis and the lower back, shift the knees away. Stay centered when you're lifting the lower legs with your inhalation. Feel abdominal muscles increasing their activity even more when pressing the knees against the hands. And then hug the knees really close, soft. Beautiful. So from here, we'll transition down. Move the knees away from the chest one more time. Center the pelvis, lengthen your lower back. Lift your feet one more time into a tabletop position. Maintain the tabletop position. Take your arms up to the ceiling. Out to the side, let your arms relax on the floor. And then lower one leg down. Place your foot on the floor. Other leg down. And now your feet are on the floor. The pelvis is still centered. The next exercise is a knee drop. So you're taking the right knee, if you're joining me, out to the side. And then at one point, your pelvis is moving with your leg. So it's rotating. With your exhalation, engage abdominals, oblique abdominals, as well as deep abdominals and pelvic floor. And of course, the inside of the thigh. Take your left leg out to the side, stabilize the pelvis, and then let it move with the leg. So it's rotating to one side. The next time you exhale, you're engaging the pelvic floor, abdominals, oblique abdominals, assist, and the leg lifts. If you still have that watery sensation, right leg, let the water in your pelvis flow to the right side. Exhalation, lift and center. Left knee out to the side. Let the water run to the left side of your pelvis. Spread out. Exhalation, lift. Center the pelvis. Refill it with warm water. We're going one more time to the right. The water is flowing into the right side of the pelvis, warming the right side of the lower back. Exhalation, lift and center. And then one more time to the left. You let the water flow to the left side. Let it warm the left side of your lower back. Exhalation, lift and center. From here, with your next exhalation, tilt the pelvis back. Let the warm water run into your lower back, into your belly. Lift the pelvis, let the breath flow. And then lift your pelvis all the way up elongating the spine into a shoulder bridge position. Take the ball away from underneath your pelvis and then roll down, melting one vertebra after the other into the mat. Center the pelvis and center your lower back. If you like, you can place the ball underneath the back of your head Rest your head on the ball, let it be heavy, let it sink back. So a little preparation exercise to align the neck. Turn your nose up towards the ceiling. So you are shortening the back of the neck and then move into a small nodding, lowering the chin. Make sure your throat is still soft, lengthening the back of the neck. And from here, you can press the back of your head slightly down against the ball, but it's really, really light. 
So the pelvis is centered. If you still imagine your pelvis to be a bowl full of water, keep the bowl really still, the water centered. From here, press the left foot down into the floor and with your exhalation, lift the right knee, let the breath flow. I'm building up a little movement sequence. So it's a leg float, then you're turning the thigh around, around its own axis. So the foot is pointing to the left, turn the leg back so it's centered and then lower your leg. Lift with your exhalation, left. Spiral with your inhalation, so the foot is pointing to the right. Center, exhale, inhalation, lower. Right side, exhalation, leg float up. Inhalation, spiraling, adding on. Exhalation, it's a reverse leg float with a twist. And then lift the leg back up, center it, and lower the foot. You can let the breath flow if you like, it doesn't really matter. Otherwise, you exhale on the way up left. Inhalation spiral, the foot is pointing to the right. Exhalation is a reverse leg float, the pelvis stays still. Inhalation, you're lifting the leg back up. And then center and lower the foot down. Right side. Exhalation, leg float up. With your inhalation, you're spiraling. Exhalation, stay stable as you do your reverse leg float option. Let the breath flow. You bring the knee further down, maybe all the way down. The pelvis is lifting. It's like a twisted pelvic tilt on the left side. And then you're lifting the leg back up. You center the pelvis. Center the leg and lower the foot, left side, leg float, spiraling out, reverse leg float, let the breath flow, and then if you like, you allow the right side of the pelvis to lift, the hip joint to open and the left thigh to touch the floor. Lifting back up, center the pelvis. Center the leg, float it down, last time to the right. Exhalation, leg float, inhalation, spiraling. Exhalation, reverse leg float, you let the pelvis move if you like, knee drop, inhale, and then exhalation, lifting back up. And with your inhalation, center and lower. Exhalation, changing side, left leg. Slow spiraling with the inhalation. Exhalation, reverse leg float into a reverse knee drop. Twist the pelvic tilt, inhale. Exhalation, center the pelvis, lift the knee back up. Center the leg and lower it down. Take the ball away from behind your head. We are just balancing the movement sequence with one pelvic curl. So from here, inhale. Bring back that watery feeling with your exhalation. Let the breath flow. Lift the pelvis, peel the spine away from the floor. Let the water spread out all the way up to the shoulders, out into the arms, into the fingertips, back up into the neck. Everything is getting very soft. And then roll down, melt one vertebra after the other into the floor. Let the pelvis center. And then from here, Lift one knee into a tabletop position, draw the knee close, hold on behind the knee with one hand and then lift your other leg, hold on with your other hand behind the knee. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor, rock forwards, backwards, a few relaxed, rolling like a ball into a sitting position. And I hope 
you have enjoyed the sequence melting mellow and you feel relaxed yet calm and present. Have a wonderful day.